What's up everybody greetings to internet citizens and in this video oh boy oh boy what do i tell you about this guy Julian Assange do you remember how election results were manipulated Hillary Clinton was winning and then suddenly Donald Trump came into the came into the story and they found some arab connections of Hillary Clinton and suddenly Donald Trump won that election so today we are going to talk about the timeline of Julian Assange, the man behind WikiLeaks. So let's get started. Let's look at how Julian Assange's case has rolled over the years, what important events shaped his fight with the US government. The Sega started in 2006. When WikiLeaks initiated its operations, Assange created an internet-based dead letter drop for whistleblowers and leakers of classified and sensitive information. 2010 was a ravaging year for WikiLeaks, as well as the US government, since around 500,000 documents were released on WikiLeaks containing sensitive information. On July 25, 2010, over 91,000 approx documents containing secret US military reports about the Afghanistan war were released by WikiLeaks. The most interesting point to note here is that a US soldier named Bradley Manning was arrested by the officials a month before for leaking sensitive information about the country. In October 2010, around 400,000 classified military files concerning the Iraq war were leaked. WikiLeaks released thousands of US diplomatic documents, some of them including candid views of foreign leader and blunt assessments of the security threats. This was one of the largest security breaches in US military history that have been recorded till now. On November 18, 2010, a Sweden court ordered Assange's arrest over allegations filed against him. Although he denied these allegations, he was arrested in Britain via European arrest warrant and freed on bail. In Feb 2011, London court ordered Assange's extradition to Sweden, where he appealed against it again. British Supreme Court rejected Assange's final appeal, which made him more notorious. Five days later, the decision of Supreme Court, Julian Assange took refugee in Ecuador's embassy in London and requested for his admission into a political asylum. Luckily for Assange, Ecuador granted him asylum in a few months. On April 11, 2019, Julian Assange was carried out of the Ecuador embassy and arrested by British police after Ecuador revoked his political asylum. Assange was sentenced to 50 weeks in prison for skipping bail by the British government. He was behind the bars for this time while his extradition hearing remains pending. Feared by his case now, Assange refused to agree on being extradited to the US. On June 11, 2019, the American Justice Department formally submitted a request to Britain for the extradition of Assange to US to face the US charges that he conspired to hack US government computers and violated an espionage law. An interesting turn took place in Jan 2021 as a British judge ruled that Assange should not be extradited to the US, saying he is a risk of suicide and would likely to kill himself under harsh US prison conditions. US authorities filed for the decision against the judge's appeal and won. A few months later, in March 2022, UK Supreme Court denied Assange permission to appeal against the decision anymore. Within a few days after the decision, Assange married his long-term partner Stella Morris, with whom he had two children while in the Ecuadorian embassy inside a British prison. In June 2022, the British government approved Assange's extradition in the US. British Home Secretary Preeti Patel signed an order authorizing his extradition to the United States. Assange's lawyer said that they would mount a new legal challenge against the US government and said that the case could take a month or even years more before its conclusion. So what happens to Assange now? Assange still has the right to appeal to the English High Court. If refused, Assange must be extradited within 28 days. He is currently being held at Belmarsh Prison in London. Here is a quick spicy fact. Since Assange is an Australian national, Australian Prime Minister Mr. Anthony Albanese has previously supported the demand for Assange's release. So he might be held in a prison in Australia if the US will allow them to. 
So this was the whole timeline of Julian Assange about what he has done in his life and the memorable event of Julian Assange. What do you think about Julian Assange? Please let me know in comment section. And if you're liking this content, don't forget to press the bell icon and subscribe button. And make sure I'll see you guys into the comment section.